Hi guys, this is Maggie with the blog Homestead.com and today we are going to test out our eight month old water glassed eggs. The time has come and if you'll remember, we water glassed a whole bunch of eggs in a five gallon bucket about eight months ago. And today I'm going to take some of the eggs out and see if they kill me. Just kidding. I will test them first. I'll test them for freshness and then I'll see if they kill me. <laughs> I've gotten so many questions and requests to do this update video because people want to see how these eggs are after eight months of being in a bucket at room temperature. They have been upstairs in our storage room, which is not temperature controlled by any means. It was up there all summer where our house is not insulated. So the upstairs gets very, very hot in the summer. It probably is can easily get to 100 degrees sometimes. So these eggs were very much not temperature controlled. So this is gonna be a very good test because if these eggs are still good after eight months of that kind of temperature, then that is a really good sign. And that means that if they were in the basement in a really cool controlled temperature, that they could be lasting for like up to two years possibly. And I know that is not the ideal situation for any food storage, any canned goods or anything but that is the option we have right now because our house is really small and that is the only room that will work for food storage. So that's just kind of what's going on with those. But I'm very excited to see how these eight month old eggs are after being in not the most optimal conditions. So if you haven't seen my first video and you're wondering what is water glassing anyway, this is an age old technique of preserving eggs in their shell raw at room temperature, just using hydrated lime and water. These can last for eight months to a year, most likely, and sometimes even up to two years there's been people reporting that their eggs are still good after two years of being in the storage. But don't worry, I will link my video with all this information and all the instructions on how to do it. So if you want to go see how to do this, if you're totally convinced that they, since they lasted for eight months at our house, that you want to try it, the instructions are in the video that I will link and in the blog post that I will link. So when you bring down your bucket from storage and open it up, it will look a bit different than when you first put it up there. The hydrated lime settles to the bottom and that's totally normal. I've gotten a lot of questions where people do this and all their the powder settles to the bottom and they're worried that it's not actually working. Don't worry, that is totally normal and mine does that too and they're just totally fine. It also doesn't have the best smell. It smells kind of fishy not rotten. It's not supposed to smell like really, really bad. Like, you know, for sure they've gone rotten. It just kind of has like not the best smell, like just kind of fishy, kind of like off. It doesn't just smell like a bucket of water anymore. So that is normal. And also when I first open a bucket, I like to notice if the eggs are all settled at the bottom or if there are some floating. And if they're all settled at the bottom, which is normally the case with my eggs, then that is a really good sign because that means at least the ones on the top are good and they pass the float test. So before we get into any tests, when we first take the eggs out, I like to rinse them off. I use this little tool that I have in my kitchen that I actually don't even use for anything else just for this. So I guess it's kind of come in handy, but I like to scoop it out with this tool and then I will take it over to the sink and rinse the eggs off because when I crack the eggs, I don't want any of the hydrated lime that's on the shelf still to drip into the egg because I don't, we don't want to eat the hydrated lime. So I like to just rinse the eggs out first, make sure they're all good. You don't have to scrub them, just a rinse will be fine. So now our eggs are ready to do a couple freshness tests. There are quite a few different methods for this that you could try, but we're gonna do two different methods today. The first test is called the float test, and to do this, you just fill a bowl with cool water and set the eggs inside the bowl. Three different things might de happen depending on how old your egg is. If it sinks all the way to the bottom and turns on its side and then stays there, that means your egg is very good. It's very fresh. That is ideally what we want to happen. If the egg sinks to the bottom but it kind of floats at an angle or stands on its end, that means the egg is a bit older but it's still fine to eat. Normally, if there is any eggs like that, I will use those for baking and not for making like a fried egg where some of the yolk might be more raw. And then the third thing that might happen is the egg might float. And if the egg floats on the surface or even in the middle of the, of the liquid, you want to throw it out. That means the egg is bad. This is because as eggs age, the shell becomes more porous, allowing air to flow through the shell. The more air coming through the shell, the larger the air pocket in the egg becomes. And when there gets to be enough of the air, the egg will float. And so that's why they float in this particular test, because there's too much air inside the egg, which is just kind of an interesting thing to know. 
Second test that I like to do is just the egg white test. I just crack the egg on a plate or in a little bowl, and this is a great method to look at the egg, to test the eggs if you're going to crack them into something separately before you add them to a baking mix or something else. So if you're cracking them into something anyway, before you add them to your pan to scramble them or something, this is a good thing to do. Today I cracked a totally farm fresh egg that we got from our hands like yesterday next to this. So you can see the difference in the two. Just observe it a little bit because there's a few things that I tend to look for with these eggs. The first thing is that you want the white to be fairly thick. So if you crack it on a plate and the white spreads all the way to the edge of the plate and it's like very runny, that is not good. That means the eggs a lot older. You want the white to just stay in the normal range that a white should be in in a fresh egg. So if it looks kind of unnaturally watery or clear, then that's meaning it's old. You can also observe a few things about the yolk. You want it to be round, compact, and to stay in the center of the white. I mean, not perfectly in the center, but you don't want the, the yolk to be floating way over to the edge or possibly even leaving the white. And that's more likely to happen when the white is running like I was talking about earlier. Or if you notice that it's kind of flat on the top and it's not as like perky and like sticking up as much, then that also means it's old. So you can see when the eggs are next to each other, the farm fresh egg does, the yolk does stand up a little bit more, the white looks just slightly different, but really there's not a huge difference in them. And also, the other thing that I like to look at is that the yolk in the water glass egg is still pretty orange, and that's a good sign as well. You're going to expect some runniness in eggs this old, so don't be alarmed if you're seeing some of these signs that I'm talking about. I'm just kind of bringing them to your attention because it's something good to look at, because if they get too pronounced, it could mean the egg is quite a bit older and maybe not safe to eat. But I figure as long as it's past the float test as well, if the white is looking pretty runny, that does mean it's old, but it doesn't mean it's not safe to eat. So with both of these tests, all the eggs that I've tested so far have done fabulously. The float test, the eggs all floated all the way to the bottom, just like the fresh eggs. And in the egg white test, they were still looking pretty good. The yolk was still pretty orange compared to the fresh one. They weren't quite as solid. The yolk was sagging just a little bit, but really not bad at being at room temperature for eight months. I also checked for any off smell in the eggs as they were sitting on the plate there, and they smelled just completely like the fresh eggs. So it's nice to have like a comparison with the fresh egg because you might not totally know what an egg is supposed to smell like, but they did smell like a normal egg, so that was good. Okay. So you can see how late I am getting this video out in that now it's not just been eight months, it's actually been 12 months. I've been working on this eight months video for months now. But I wanna just pop in here. I'm still gonna leave everything as an eight month update, but I wanted to still pop in here in the middle of the video and let you guys know that at 12 months, a whole year, the eggs are still good. Everyone that I've tried out of the bucket passes the float test, it tastes good, the White is pretty runny, but that is totally understandable for an egg that is a year old and it hasn't even been stored in that great condition. It's pretty hot in our upstairs, like I said before. So I am absolutely thrilled. So the eggs lasted a whole year. That is crazy. So I guess this can be kind of their eight to 12 month update because I filmed my eight month update and then I got pregnant and I haven't been wanting to do any sort of a taste test on eggs and I've just been busy and I just remembered that I hadn't even edited it and put it on YouTube yet so now it's been a year <laughs> and then now I'm actually going to eat one Well, that this is actually a thing you can do. This is just so cool. And it is such a blessing to have fresh raw eggs to eat when the hens have stopped laying during the winter, which they actually have now. So we've started to use these water glass eggs more 
since I've made this video. And also keep in mind that these eggs were not even in a temperature controlled environment. Like I said earlier, if they were stored in a basement, I would love to have a basement. That would be my dream. Someday we will have a root cellar with a ton of food storage and it'll be awesome. But if they were in somewhere like that, that was nice and cool and it was a consistent cool temperature, they could last for so long. So I think it's safe to say that this is totally worth it. This is totally something that we enjoy doing every year and it's just a blessing to have knowledge for preserving eggs for the winter because there really is, if the hens will lay so much more in the summer and you have a ton of eggs to eat, but then in the winter they'll stop. So it's just nice to have some eggs stored up to kind of counterbalance that. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this update video and maybe you guys want to try this for yourselves. If you want to read about my eight month update on my blog, I also did a blog post for this that I will link below. And make sure you go to my website and sign up for my email list because I'm doing a lot of other things besides just YouTube. So if you want to follow along with our family, go make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.